For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. Alright, guys, I'm gonna take a slightly different approach for this one, a more mechanical approach. We have a 150 pound crate supported by these cables. So, this, this force right here going straight down on this ring is 150 pounds. Find the tension of these three wires. So, this is how I'm gonna do it. First, I'm going to find the positions of A, A, B, and C. A, B, and C. So A sits at 6 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 0 in the K. B sits at 0 in the I, plus 3 in the J, plus 2 in the K. And C sits at 0 in the I, minus 2 in the J, plus 3 in the K. Now I'm going to find some univectors. Basically I'm finding this tiny vector right here, this tiny vector right here, and this tiny vector right here with a magnitude, each one has a magnitude of 1. So to do so, first I'm going to go work with A, B, so the one go, going towards B. So to find the univector A, B, you need to find A, B first. A, B is equal to B minus A, and b minus a is equal to minus 6 in the i plus 3 in the j plus 2 in the k. Then find the magnitude of a b. The magnitude of a b can be found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. When you plug in 6, 3, and 2 for those values, you get that the magnitude of a b is exactly 7. And the univector a b is given by the vector a b divided by its magnitude. So basically you're going to divide each of these Cartesian values by 7 and you're going to get the univector and it comes out to be negative 0.857 in the i plus 0.429 in the j plus 0.286 in the k. That's for a, b. We're going to go through the same motions for a, c and a, c is c minus a which is equal to minus 6 in the i, minus 2 in the j, plus 3 in the k. The magnitude of AC is equal to 7 by using the same formula here. And the univector AC, which you find by dividing AC by its magnitude, comes out to be negative 0 0.857 in the i, minus 0 0.286 in the j, plus 0 0.429 in the k. We have 2 we have two univectors. And the last univector, univector AD, notice that I didn't bother to find D, because AD is going straight towards the positive x-axis, which means that the univector in the AD direction is equal to 1 in the i. And the univector going down for the 150-pound force is univector AE is negative 1 in the k, because it's going straight down. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some sort of a little um, table. Basically you know that you have four vectors acting into this ring. You got AB, AC, AD and AE. So we got AB, AC, AD and AE. And AE we know is 150 pounds. So the Cartesian vector form of each of these vectors is the univector times the magnitude. Therefore, the Cartesian vector form of AB is negative 0 0.857 times AB in the I plus 0.429 times AB in the J plus 0.286 AB in the K. I just multiplied AB by the univector AB given right here. And we're going to do the same thing for AC, for AD, and for AE. So this is going to look something like this AC is negative 0.857 AC in the I minus 0.286 AC in the J plus 0.429 AC in the K. AD is equal to AD times 1 in the I 
plus C on the J plus C on the K. And AE is equal to AE times uh, 1 in the K, so it's 0 on the I plus 0 on the J. But we know that AE is 150 pounds, so it's minus 150 in the K. And if you do it this way, you should be able to see the equations right away because the sum of all this gives you 0, 0, 0. 0 on the I, 0 on the J, and 0 on the K. Make that a little bigger. Okay. So the three equations that you're going to use are negative 0.857AB minus 0.857AC plus AD is equal to 0. That's our first equation. Negative 0.857AB. I'm basically working with this column right here. Minus 0.857AB minus 0.857AC plus AD is equal to 0. That's our first equation. Let's call it equation 1. The second equation is given by the second column, which is 0.429AB minus 0.286AC is equal to 0. And the third equation is given by the third column, which is 0.286AB plus 0.429AC minus 150 is equal to 0. I'm calling this equation 2, and I'm calling this equation 3. And take a note because I'm going to turn the page because I run out of space. So I gave you the three equations. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab equation 3 and multiply it by 0.286 and divide it by 0.429. So I'm going to multiply by this fraction. And equation 3, <coughs> equation three uh, becomes 0.191ab plus 0.286ac is equal to 100. I just put the negative 150 to the other side of the equation and then multiply it by the equation. That being said, I'm going to rewrite equation 2. Okay, this is equation 3. Okay, I'm going to rewrite equation 2 right below this one, and this is 0.429ab minus 0.286ac is equal to 0. And then I'm just going to add them up. The ACs cancel out, and you get 0.620AB is equal to 100. And now let's kick from here. AB is equal to 161.4 pounds. You plug that into equation 2, and you get that AC is equal to 242.1 pounds. And you plug these values into equation 1, and you get that AD is equal to 345.8 pounds and these are the three vectors so i hope you like my technique just find the unit vectors build a table because if in the future you're given something with many more vectors hopefully you want then you can build a table and get as far as you can in the problem and it keeps the problem also organized so Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.